Hi Cancerian, welcome to your reading. If you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you. I'm Amber and if you're returning, I would like to welcome you back. Um, this is going to be a reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for the month of May. It is a fifth house reading. So the fifth house particularly um, embodies the energy of like our passion, pleasure, children, entertainment, um fun all together as a whole um love affairs creativity things of that nature i'm going to be focused on the change within those elements in this particular reading um don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if this reading resonates with you you can book a personal reading on my website the link is down below in the description box um and you are going to see a link up here to go over to our merchandise store if that's something that you're interested in doing all right so honestly you know if you've been cross watching if you are cross watching you're another sign and you're waiting for cancerian sign it took a long time for me to get to the water signs i figure there's probably something going on um i had to wait for the energy to kind of settle as i said that my stomach started hurting um I had to wait for the energy to settle. When I started to do the pre-shuffle, um, big emphasis on relationships, big emphasis on the seventh house. Okay, so definitely a Capricorn could be of some sort of significance. Um, an Aquarius as well, or someone who has a strong placement of Aquarius in their chart could be of some sort of significance. Um, I kept seeing the seventh house. I was seeing the Eight of Wands a lot, so I definitely feel like there's some sort of journey or there's something that you're ready to move on, move towards or move away from um, in the month of May, okay? But let's just, we'll get into it because there was such a like seventh house, seemed like, like your seventh house is influencing this. Um, which I'm not surprised because it is a fifth house reading, but it is about passion, pleasure, um, love affairs, you know, so that is like um, a bit of a relationship, but this is more so like an intimate type of vibration. Um, I decided to pull out the love cards, the love angel cards. I changed up the, the spread just a little bit because of Cancerian's energy. Okay, so anyway, let's get into it. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, thank you for allowing me to be the vessel to give Cancerians messages for their highest good, highest good only. Only you all are welcome here. Show me uh, what is the strongest energy in the fifth house, Spirit. What's going on in the fifth house for Cancer? What's going on in the fifth house? For cancer in the month of may what's going on in the fifth house what's the strongest energy in the fifth house please oh what's the strongest energy in the fifth house okay wow you guys heard that fall out okay okay wait okay so what fell out is engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level. And then um, you also have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And this flipped over, but it was like still like in the deck. Um, this is healing family issues, but I'm going to take it. The energy is extremely strong right now. Okay. Um, so I'll be honest with you. I do feel like uh, Cancerian either you are um, in a relationship with someone already. Or this could be about a relationship that you used to be in. It could also be about a relationship that you would like to have with someone. Um, regardless of which one of those resonate with you, there's an outsider. There's a third person, a third party um, that's looking in on this. Okay. And, you know, vice versa for the cross watcher. Okay. For a cross watcher, you could be the one that you know, has a love life that's ascending to a higher level. And right now, Cancer's on the outside looking in um, at this situation. Now, in the center of this, you have healing family issues. It says your love life benefits as you re you forgive your parents. Um, there's some of you guys, you may take that message like surface, like, like for surface meaning. I don't. Um, no. I don't. I feel like this is an energy where most of you guys may have children. You could have children with someone or the person that you're connecting to or you want to be involved with has children. And there's a bit of a complex dynamic right now um, with where your relationship is headed. Okay. 
I do feel like there is some type of family issue that needs to be addressed. It has not been addressed yet. Um, but I also feel like there's someone, when I say that there's a third party like looking in on this, you definitely could be dealing with someone who has a highly active intuition. Highly active intuition, highly active dream space. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They could have that in their chart somewhere. I feel a lot of cross-watcher energy. I'm not even going to lie. But anyway, let's move on. Tell me about engagement being here for Cancer for the month of May. Spirit, tell me about this. Mercury. Communication. Okay. Third house. So immediate environment. This could be someone who you're already living with. You're making plans to live with. Um, definitely there's some level of conversation that's being talked about or is about to come up about things going to a higher level of commitment. Um, I kind of feel an energy too of um, things maybe moving very fast. This could be someone who you haven't known for a long time, but you made up your mind that they are the one for you. Vice versa for the cross watcher. You may not have known cancer for a long time, but there's something about this, um, you know, where your perception or the way that you envision this, this engagement, this marriage, this union situationship, um, It's kind of an energy of you controlling the narrative or somebody's controlling the narrative of this. Um, <laughs> omens, okay. Um, yeah, somebody... I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it, you know, somebody could be controlling the narrative of this. And when I say controlling the narrative, it's like... Somebody's like silently planning... Um, but they're also taking actions as if they like in the way that they know that the plan is going to work out. It's going to take place. It's going to happen. Um, bottom of the deck, you have Sagittarius here with 10th house and then Cancerian. OK, you could be closing out a cycle with a Sagittarius. Um, you know, there could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo. I really feel like this is like two people you could be closing out. Some of you guys could be closing out a uh, situation with a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. It could also be any of the um, mutable signs, Gemini in particular, but Virgo, Pisces, as I said before, um, Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius. Um, but it, uh, this also could be a situation where there is um, a new cycle opening up as well. There's also an air sign that could be of some sort of significance to this situation. Um, there is a need for some type of flow conversation. Definitely. I feel like there's a conversation being had, but there's somebody who's left out of it. Okay. There's a third party who's left out of it and they may have a perception or they might be seeing what's going on, but they haven't been brought into the conversation to know what exactly is going on. Okay. Tell me about pay attention to the red flags for Cancerian here. Please tell me about... Uh, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Tell me about pay attention to the red flags here. Tell me about this spirit for cancer in the month of May. Tell me about pay attention to the red flags. Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah, look, just like I said, you have third house where I told you. Now, pay attention to the red flag. This is that third party where I'm telling you. I feel like this third party has a good idea or they're painting some type of picture about what it is that's going on. Um, there is a lot of other stuff that came out. You have 12th house, 8th house. That's about surrendering. You have intimacy and destiny here. Um, Saturn and square so definitely there could be some sort of restrictions some type of structure rules restraints uh that are playing a part on this situation it's keeping something from expanding okay i am going to put this back okay i'm going to ask another uh question but mercury and third house this is definitely about some type of conversation that needs to be had some type of information something that you've, you've learned or discovered or somebody else has learned or discovered there's some level of awareness um there's also a curiosity uh vibrating around this situation tell me about pay attention to the red flags please tell me about this for cancer 
all these cards keep coming out. Wow. This comes back out. Cancer, Sagittarius, 10th house. Ooh. Perception comes back out. Then you have Moon, Venus, and 6th house. Okay? So definitely an energy of trying to bring um, your emotions into a uh, balance about a situation. There is someone here, I'm telling you, their instinct is spot on. Their instinct, um, their intuition, something about their emotions are bubbling up about what's going on on the outside of this situation because they are on the outside. This is definitely the third party, third house, right? Definitely third party. But it's something that they know um, about this situation hasn't even been shared. I just want one card, Sarah, please. Just one. Just one. Thank you. First house. Okay, definitely about awareness. It is about, um, you know, outlook, philosophies, consciousness, um, opinions. It's about awakenings, um, arrivals, expression. It's also about portals, entries, gate, you know, gate points, things of that nature could be involving a Libra, particularly this first house vibration that I'm getting off of this card is that somebody has started to realize that there are red flags about something that's either going on with Cancerian or Cancerian is realizing that there are third flat or red flags that are going on around this third party. Tell me about healing family issues being here at the center of this reading. Fourth house is about family background comfort you know real estate shelter self-care things of that nature is definitely about stability habits um definitely there's something that's creating some type of restriction some type of struggle or restraint um in this particular situation it definitely could be happening at home like i said a capricorn could be of some sort of significance that person could have rising um in capricorn they could be first house capricorn um fourth house you rule the fourth house you are at the center of this situation cancerian okay tell me um show me this the situation knight of cups six of pentacles definitely still feel like there, there's an energy of you like maybe wanting to make an offer to someone someone could have recently made an offer to you you're not really sure if you're going to stay or go if you're going to um receive it if you're going to be receptive to it you're definitely uh infatuated a little bit with this offer there's something about it that does give you some type of like glimmer um in your eyes with the six of pentacles here you know it's it's something about this offer that has provoked you to um, maybe even start to make plans to accept it, but you haven't vocalized that you're going to accept the offer, okay? Like, and this could be something as small, you know, as like somebody telling you, hey, I want to uh, quarantine with you. Let's be real, okay? I want to quarantine with you. And this is like you preparing your house and you getting everything together. You Lysol in, you know, setting it up so that this person can come in quarantine with you. But you haven't told them that um, it sounded like a good idea. OK, or that this is something that you want to do. There's definitely more than one person involved in this situation. Hell, it's a lot of people involved in this situation. Tell me, uh, show me Cancerian's situation in the month of May, please. Judgment. Some type of revelation, okay? Uh, very uh, heavy emphasis on air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? And then you have moon here. You could be dealing with someone who has a moon in Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, particularly. Um, moon in Capricorn, even. And you have the hangman and the moon. Somebody's mother could be a bit of a challenge right now some tort some type of restraint could be coming from a motherly figure it could be coming from a pisces cancer or a scorpio you have hangman here in the moon both of those are ruled um by pisces but the hangman is also for me at least it's kind of like an aquarian energy because they have like um an outlandish or a very unique perspective on things they tend to be very innovative in the way that they look at things with the hangman I always get that vibe um that there could be an, an Aquarius involved. How would Cancer view judgment here? Whatever it is, it's very heavy. 
You have three major arcanas here. Yep, you have the star and the sun. Good grief. <laughs> Definitely, there's some type of revelation about a person. There could be a reconciliation, you know, somebody coming back to make some type of amends. This also could be some type of news that you're getting your wish Okay, if you're the one that made an offer for a person and they kind of held out or they didn't tell you if they were really interested, um, you know, this could definitely be you getting your wish with the star and the sun here. A Leo, an Aquarius, definitely could be of some sort of significance, a fixed sign all together, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, um, Aquarius. Because then I have six of swords with the three of swords here, which is a nine of swords energy. I'm telling you, this is, a, you have a third party situation here, and then you have somebody who's on the outside of this situation. And, it, and honestly, it's like, they seem to be like they're headed in a different direction, like they're on their own path. And then you have this seal that seems distracted by this third party situation or involved, you know, um, awakened or something about this situation over here and now this person is going to be led into this um seems like some fuckery i not gonna lie tell me how the people or the person um involved with you judge me here yeah the page of swords um in reverse there definitely could be a younger air sign that's involved with this situation that is going to be um leaving away from this situation the um page of swords in reverse is also about like imposters it's a very cunning type of uh behavior so definitely there could be a third party situation um and somebody's looking in on this like when i see the page of swords in reverse that's like imposter that's what this is an imposter a lot of fire energy as well be a younger fire sign or a younger air sign that um, is at the center of this or is involved with this situation, is affected by it. Why is the Page of Swords here? Why would they view this situation with the Page of Swords in reverse? Seven of Cups. 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 Page of Cups. Three of Swords. Definitely, it could be a mother. It, it could be a mother involved with this situation who. It's possibly um, concerned about um, their child being wrapped up in a third party situation. This could be your mother as well. Tell me about the hangman energy being at the center of this. Six of Cups. Yeah, and I was just going to say, I just feel like somebody's tied down by their family, their children, some type of like family, home dynamic. Um,. There could be some type of truth that's surfacing about children. Definitely. I'm seeing that here too. Just keep seeing somebody having some level of like suffering in their home. Nine of Swords. Definitely feel like somebody's losing sleep over this situation. Why would someone be losing sleep over this situation? How does this make Cancerian feel? Let me ask one question. How does this make Cancerian feel? This Nine of Swords energy spirit with the hangman? Mm -hmm. Okay. Two of Swords came out. Wow. And that's what I was going to say. There feels like there's competition. So the Two of Swords came out, which is about making some type of decision. Um, it is about also needing to look to your friends for some level of guidance, either your friends or some type of counsel of light, like prayer, you know, meditation, that sort of thing. It's it's quietly seeking answers is the energy that I get from the Two of Swords. Now, when I'm I'm asking how you would feel about this, you have the King of King of Cups, King of Pentacles here, and then a Four of Cups energy, which it, this is your energy with the Four of Cups, Cancerian. So I definitely feel like I said you could have made somebody an offer. It could have come from a fixed sign that um made some type of offer one of these people you may already be committed to or somebody's committed hell for sure somebody's already committed 
in this situation. Somebody's definitely waiting for some sort of answer, some type of um, communication here. Yeah, waiting on somebody to wake up. Three of Wands, Four of Swords here. Definitely waiting on somebody to wake up about a connection with the Two of Cups. This could be you, Cancerian. It could be another person. And then you have Capricorn energy here uh, with the Strength card. Tell me about this decision, this competition with the Two of Swords here. How does Cancerian view this Two of Swords energy? How does Cancerian view this Two of Swords energy? Yeah. So the King of Cups comes back out. Um, and he's sitting here with the moon. You have the tower. This definitely could be some type of truth that you're serving or somebody else is serving you. Tell me of how the King of Cups views the moon. How does the King of Cups view the moon? That's too many cards. You have the Page of Pentacles. Like, look. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> the Tower um, in reverse. There could be some false accusations about some stuff. Oh, boy. Cancerian. How would the King of Cups view the moon? How would the King of Cups view the moon? Justice. Yeah, there could definitely, whatever's coming out, it's it's going to be some type of truth to it. This could also be a legal matter. Eight of Cups with the King of Wands um, and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could be walking away from their family or this may have already happened. Somebody could think about, could be thinking about when somebody walked away from a stable uh, situation. Eight of Cups, you have Piscean energy here. Leo, okay. Uh, Ten of Pentacles, I definitely feel like this is involving a father because I've already seen the King of Cups. I've seen the King of Wands as well as um, the King of Pentacles. So like I said, it, it could also be an energy too where somebody was uh, divorced. This could be some type of like reconciliation or something about a divorce. Um, but there's definitely some level of competition at the heart of this. And I feel like it's a competition about a home, about some type of stability. Tell me one more thing about the hangman. Death. Yeah, somebody's quiet or they're standing still. They're not making any moves right now. But the energy of death being or the energy of the hangman being death, like it's it's what I said in the beginning. It's like somebody's quietly transforming something. And um, there are other people who don't even know about this yet. The devil with the nine of cups. Definitely somebody's being very uh, selfish. But this is going to the ten, which the eight of cups always does. Somebody walked away. But um, when their ego is set aside... Um, when the battle is over, there is going to be some level of happiness here. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups energy. Very heavy family vibration. Let me put these back. This is a lot going on. There are a lot of people involved um, in this situation. And I do feel like there's one particular party um, that's um, being left out of moves that are being made somebody's controlling the narrative and this person doesn't know they haven't heard about it that sort of thing um what are the hidden factors of this situation for cancer what are the hidden factors three of cups definitely a lot of people um involved tell me Ooh, i think you have the ten of swords here in reverse um somebody definitely could be um avoiding someone else you know it's it's an energy of um, finding courage too after a third party situation with the three of cups here ten of swords it is about finding some type of courage or avoiding a situation because you would rather um seek happiness tell me one more thing um about this ten of swords in reverse and the three of cups energy tell me more about this spirit temperance in reverse there definitely could be a sagittarius that's on the outside of um 
this situation this could also be you though cancerian okay could be the end of a an agreement or a relationship with one particular person um because you found some level of happiness in another uh situation definitely competition quarrels you know i think that you are maybe avoiding someone because you're in the middle of a celebration now this could be a lot of things okay with the three of cups this could be celebrating a new baby this could be celebrating some type of engagement a marriage something of that nature buying a new house but it's definitely something very intimate okay something very intimate tell me how a cancer view temperance here in reverse how would Cancer view temperance here uh, in reverse? The Nine of Swords. Yeah. That is what the Ten of Swords is in reverse. The Nine of Swords. You know, it's it's like um, an energy of like suffering, but it's also about like biding your time, avoiding someone, not wanting to talk about something. Or, you know, it's also an energy of doing something in secret. You may be feeling guilty about this because you didn't share your thoughts. You didn't like um, speak your mind about this situation early on. And so it's turned into a bit of like a quarrel um, at this time. Yep. You have the Page of Swords here with the Five of Pentacles. OK, typically this, uh, you know, like <laughs> a lot of fives, definitely a tower energy and Aries could be as some of some sort of significance here. Five of wands, five of pentacles here. OK, you did have the tower out here twice. It came out upright and then it came out here in reverse. I do feel like there's some type of um, somebody's controlling the narrative of this. I just keep hearing that. And there could be an Aquarius involved. Because all I keep hearing, for those of you that are Kevin Gates fans, I keep hearing his voice. Some, some, I'm controlling the narrative or some, whatever song that is, I keep hearing that. Um, anyway, tell me, um, how does cancer want to resolve this? Because it needs to be resolved, clearly. How does cancer want to resolve this? Wow. The moon and the eight of cups. You, you want somebody to back off. You want somebody to back off. You need more time. Ten of Wands, Knight of Wands with the Hierophant. You may be wanting to rush into some type of commitment as well i feel like you there are two situations here and it's like you need more time with one or you want somebody to back off from one situation and then over here with this knight of wands ten of wands definitely there could be a sagittarius at um on the outside of this sagittarius particularly but aries leo sag um it could also be a taurus okay um i do feel like whoever's on the outside of this this person is younger This may be somebody who you communicate like by text message, social media, email, whatever the case may be. But I also do feel an energy of like other individuals keeping you from communicating or keeping you from sharing uh, valuable ideas of investing time in this situation. Uh, yeah, the Hierophant here with the Seven of Swords and the Emperor. Definitely somebody's up to some sneaky shit. You have the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Wands. It's like somebody's on their way to do something like hasty. Um, this could be chasing some type of ambition, getting a new job. Um, deciding to travel somewhere. At the heart of this, you have um, engagement, right? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This could be you ready to have a brand new start with a person. And you're trying to get someone at, you're trying to keep someone at bay. Mm -hmm. You're definitely trying to keep someone at bay or somebody's trying to keep you at bay with the 10 of wands here. I feel like somebody's coming in very hot and heavy um, into this situation, okay? I'm gonna ask one more time how you want to resolve this but this is what you originally got the moon okay with the eight of cups and i just really feel like you know while you focus on your dream or while you contemplate your dream um while you are trying to like imagine how you want this to work out you want somebody to back off 
tell me one more thing about how Cancer would like to resolve this. King of Wands. Yeah. So you're wanting to control the narrative. <laughs> with justice and the seven of wands yes definitely you're wanting to um control the narrative of this situation i kind of feel an energy of like um hoping or wishing that whoever this person is that you're trying to keep at bay that this person gets like distracted by something um like runs into some type of obstacle or something of that nature so that you can balance things out okay what's the outcome in may What's the outcome in May for cancer, please? Wonderful. The Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, externally you have the Two of Cups. So definitely something is coming into fruition. This could be, you know, bringing a new child into the world. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Something's emerging. That's the outcome. Something is emerging. The world here with Page of Pentacles, it could definitely be a child. Okay, because that's what I'm seeing here too. The Two of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, it's kind of like these, the, this woman and this man seem to be wrapped into something together. Um, they're mermaids, so they don't sleep in a bed, right? But you do have Fourth House here, okay? You have the Fourth House here. Healing family issues. They definitely could be um, bringing a child in the world because I'm seeing all of this water um, around this mermaid but it's actually wrapping into this nine of pentacles which the nine of pentacles in in the traditional deck it is somebody who is pregnant it's the pre-empress it's someone who is either about to get married become a wife there's some level of growth or abundance that is emerging um in may there's definitely a new cycle and interesting because this page of pentacles is going to make this like a ten of pentacles uh, type of vibration, some type of stability um, is going to be emerging. There's going to be a new cycle of that. Some of you guys, this could be get you. You could be getting remarried, having a second child, something of that nature. Okay, tell me one more thing about uh, the outcome because I don't feel like that resonates for everybody. The Two of Pentacles and Judgment is back out here with the Star. High Priestess and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so definitely deciding to make some type of decision for others of you. This could be some proposal. You finally decided who it is that you want or someone decided that they want you. There's still a very quiet energy here with the High Priestess, okay? This person, like their thoughts are manifesting, but they haven't announced them yet, that sort of thing. Judgment here with the Two of Pentacles. It's like... <sighs> I've already had a, re a revelation. I already realized what it is that I want, what I want to do. I don't really have to juggle anymore, but I'm not ready to sound the alarm. Okay. Anyway, let's get you some advice. I knew this was going to be something heavy for you, Cancerian. What's the advice? There's some good things that are emerging, though. Beautiful things are emerging emerging from this situation. But I do feel like that there's there's a bit of a challenge or there has been a bit of a challenge with somebody else um, outside of this situation. Wow. Okay. Full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. <laughs> a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. Like I told you guys, there's a lot of Sagittarius energy. Uh, for some of you guys, Sagittarius season may be of some sort of significance. To read this i am feeling inclined to the first sentence is so spot on okay are you thinking too much about the details of your dilemma fretting over minutiae can be counterproductive or perhaps you're being all talk and no action the card is a reminder that while it's good to think things through, sometimes you need to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. What do you see? Um, I'm sorry. What do you then see about your current situation? What's the most positive thought you can have about it? Now it's time to count your blessings, even if you don't yet have exactly what you want. This card is also a reminder that we often have to take a few risks and go with uncertainty on, the, on this journey called life. Try to keep an open mind about what's for the best. The universe could surprise you. It says take time out for a mini adventure, for a mini break or a mini adventure. Additional meanings for this card. This situation may have come around because you've been distracted. Be confident without being overconfident to win the day. Have you shown that you care? If not, now is the time. 
find a balance between speaking your mind and saying too much okay um now let's see what the full moon and cancer card has to say i think that was really spot on for this situation that i just read for you guys really spot on a personal issue reaches resolution. Things are likely to get very heated as full moon in cancer is a super emotional sign. So there could be something of an explosion of feelings around now or surrounding your question. It's important to be sensitive to other people when you pull this card. There are some very fine sensibilities around so tread carefully as you move towards your goals or dreams. This card indicates an especially feminine time. It also heralds the time to deal with any family issues coming up. Nothing to worry about. It signals a challenge is now coming to an end. This card also suggests both that a domestic matter or private issue will soon come to a head and that it's a great time to move house. The answer to your question lies in being a kind leader. This is the time for you to step up and agree to overcome your insecurities. It says it may be best to move towards what you want in a sideways manner. Additional meanings for this card, meditate to soothe heightened emotions, don't be clingy, stop sulking, and it says have you had enough family time lately? Cancer, that's your reading. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, especially if this resonates with you. Um, I would really like to know this is something very heavy, especially if you're a cross watcher um, and this resonated with you. Please leave a comment. Let me know what's going on. Um, you can book a personal reading on my website. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I think that I just said that, but I really like y'all to support my channel. Okay, I will see you guys next month. Bye.